Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Drielli here. Today I have another journal with me video. This is going to be for week 28, part 1. Uh, if you want to pause this video really quick, just so you can go ahead and grab your journal or your beverage of preference, either your coffee or your tea, so we can go ahead and journal together, go ahead and do that. This is going to be kind of a long of a video, it's about 28 minutes, so I would highly suggest that you watch it doing something that you also get to enjoy while you are watching the video uh, but yeah uh, for this um, layouts here like I said this is going to be for uh, week 28 part one I usually like to split my journal with me videos into two parts uh, so for each week I split the days into two different part videos so that way uh, the videos don't get to too long and you still get to you know to watch a good amount of layouts being made and uh, hopefully grab some inspiration from some of those layouts so for part one I usually do from Monday through Wednesday and part two from Thursday through Sunday so this first layout here this is Monday July 6th and I decided to go with a vintage theme and I decided to use this tissue paper that I grabbed from an antique shop and the cover most of the page. Now you're seeing me really struggling right there and you're gonna see me ripping the paper and I'm gonna try to remove some of it and some of them are just so stuck to it that it's not coming off. But anyways, I managed at the end to um, be able to glue this paper down. It was my mistake. I, you know, I placed the glue in the page too soon without measuring the paper and then I had to stop and cut it. By the time that I placed the tissue paper on the page, the glue already had it dried. And this glue is actually very forgiving. Uh, it gives me a couple of, um, you know, a decent amount of time until it actually fully dries. But I, I took a long time, trust me. This is a speeded up video. So I took much longer than it actually it looks like. But anyways, I managed to get it done. Um, so that's good. <laughs> so this is um, the reason why I decided to go with a vintage theme for this layout is because I wanted to go with a kind of like a filming camera um, theme for this layout. And the reason being is because this day, uh, this was Monday, so usually on you know, Mondays, um, usually the beginning of the week, um, it's heavily influenced by me filming because that's usually when I film my YouTube videos. So really besides that, I didn't do too too much, there's nothing too special happening this day besides me all day long filming. So I wanted to decorate this page with a film a film theme. Um, most of the times um, my themes are very um, recent um, so I decided to go with a more vintage one because I had this um, you know this catalog that was a vintage catalog that had a, a lot of like advertisement that had cameras like old antique cameras so I thought it was very fitting to add it to this layout so I went with it you guys know if you have watched any of my videos I absolutely love vintage layouts so I I will take any opportunity to decorate my journal with vintage. So I decided to go ahead and cover most of the page with this tissue paper. And I got this tissue paper. I don't know if I already mentioned that. Um, I got this tissue paper um, in an antique shop. Um, this is actually a package from Simplicity. This is a sewing pattern from the 1980s. And uh, it has this lovely beige color. So I decided it was a great uh, color combination with the advertisement because this um, catalog paper has kind of like a light cream beige color to it. So I decided it was a good fitting, um, better than just a white blank page out of my insert. So yeah, and that's a great way to use like tissue paper uh, to cover your pages because tissue paper is so thin so it doesn't add a lot of volume to your inserts and you can still have different color pages uh, besides just your blank white paper if that's the type of insert that you are using. But anyway, so I just glued down 
almost half of the page there with that catalog and I'm just gonna come in with some tags now uh, my um, my first thought when I decided to come up with this layout was to add those tags, this cluster uh, of tags on the top right of the page. But because as you noticed uh, in the beginning of this video, because I messed up with the tissue paper when I was gluing down, um, some of that paper didn't come off. So when I was able to finally lay that uh, final um you know tissue um, cover to the page uh, you could see there because the tissue paper is so thin you could see some of that paper that was left over from the one that I ripped so I kind of wanted to cover that um, I didn't look it didn't look good I was like really upset that I couldn't remove that but usually that uh, recollections um, glue stick is really good <laughs> It's very once you put that thing down, it's very hard to remove that. So that's why I actually like that glue so much because it's a relatively uh, cheap glue, but you know it's decent. So what I decided to do because I didn't have a lot of writing in that day uh, to do, I decided to use those tags and uh, those clusters on the bottom. So I just cut a little bit, um, a little piece of the the remaining advertisement paper um, and I'm using in the cluster. I also use this uh, black and white um, tag that I bought at Michael's and uh, those are uh, all the ticket stubs I got uh, from Skylar Hand Studio. They're all vintage uh, tickets and they all had the same color so I tried to keep the same color scheme throughout the whole layout like this black white cream Theme. And I think it worked out. I had those two washi tapes from Michaels. They're also film themed and um, Yeah, I just decided to use some of them. I fussy cut the uh, cameras that was um, In one of those washi tapes. It's just a bunch of different cameras and I just fussy cut and use it in the layout And I think it worked out pretty good. I did add it a little bit of the cluster to the top right as I was wanting to do in the beginning to start with um, and uh, I'm leaving the bottom one to add the date, end of the day. But I'm just coming in with some uh, wood stamping. I'm using this wood stamp from Michaels. This is from the Recollections line. It's just a letter um, wood stamp. I love to use this uh, wood stamp in my uh, layouts because it just added some extra um, Hot to the page. I don't know. It looks so much more vintagey when you have those writings um, stamped in your page. I don't know what it is. Um, I'm using here the Drew Drop uh, ink pad. It's one of my favorite um, inks. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just using color black. I'm using some of this wildflower uh, wood stamp as well. That one I also got at Michael's and it's also from the Recollections line. Now I'm finalizing this page with some Distress Ink. I'm using this uh, Team Holtz Distress Ink. This is the black one. And I'm gonna use my blending tool just to edit some of this black ink to the edges of the page. This doesn't make the page look like vintage because it's black, but it does add it uh, an extra dimension to the page, if I may say so. I don't know. I like it. <laughs> Especially when there's a lot of black going on the page, adding this uh, distress ink at the edges really uh, adds up uh, to the page. It gives a kick. But anyways, um, I think I'm pretty much done here with this one. I'm just gonna come in with my... Um, yeah, my Keras Pen Company um, pen and I'm just gonna add the day and date in the page and I'm gonna call it good um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I didn't super love my writing there, but that's okay. Anyways, so moving on, the second layout is gonna be Tuesday, July 7th. For this day, uh, this was actually the day that I, um, I published in my YouTube channel the haul um, that I did from Skylarhand Studio. So nothing else special happened that day. Uh, it was also a day full of, um, 
you know, things related to YouTube. I was recording still some videos and editing. So I just decided to, you know what, I want to do another uh, layout and uh, actually using the items that I got from Skyler Hand Studio um, just to indicate that this was the day that I actually, you know, I published that video. So I decided to use this uh, package that I got from her. It's from the Pan American uh, paper. This is a very rare uh, paper. I was really uh, doubting myself if I should even use it. And I decided to cut it and then cut it again in half. I was going all out this time. Um, but you know what, like, although it's a very rare paper and uh, I was really doubting myself if I should even use it. <sighs> Life is too short. You gotta, you gotta use the stuff that you buy. You know, <laughs> you know what, sometimes what makes me really use up the things that I'm afraid to use it because I want to save it because it's so pretty or it's so special or it's so rare and unique and I don't want to use it. Um, I always think of my grandma and my mom. She had, she has the same, um, you know, how, how you can say, habit of, you know, like people like, like to save the best towels and the, the best, you know, um, China, just when you have a special occasion and you never use that beautiful dress, you always wait for a special occasion and you always save the China and the, the nice sheets and the life passes by you and uh, you rarely use those things that you've been saving for a special day and that special day sometimes never comes. You know, and uh, at the end, what, like, why did you save that for? You know, I remember my my grandma growing older and uh, she never got to use a lot of the china that she saved. Um, and yeah, she might have broke a lot of it if she had used it. But she would have had the, you know, the opportunity to experience using that beautiful china or those beautiful sheets that she saved it for so long. And at the end, like when she passed away, like it's there, it's not, you know, I don't know. So that's one of the things that always makes me remind myself that life is too short and uh, you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. Although you have to appreciate the things that you buy and you have to take care of it and uh, definitely, um, you know, what I'm trying to say. I think appreciate is the best word to say, really. Um, I think keeping in a glass protected by plastic wrapping papers, um, I don't think that's how things should be uh, celebrated, right? Uh, so as much as this paper is very rare and, uh, you know, I want to save it what i'm gonna save it for you know um i don't know if my kids are going to join uh enjoy uh journaling as i do or i don't know if i can find anyone in my family that enjoys as much journaling and can appreciate papers like that as much as i do and even if that happens like i don't know i'm rambling sorry <laughs> this went very deep but anyways, you, you guys got the point. Um, not saving <laughs> anything. You got to use it. You got to appreciate it. You got to take advantage of things that are beautiful and uh, rare and uh, use them. I think that's the best way to appreciate something that is special. It is to use it. It is to have it in front of you. Otherwise, that does not make any sense and uh, you know it's just a useless piece of paper that's gonna be a storage in your drawers that nobody gonna ever see it at least being your journal being part of your story um you know it's being appreciated that way so with that being said i'm gonna stop rambling and tell you guys what i'm doing here <laughs> 
So yeah, so um, pretty much all the papers that you see me using here, I grabbed from Skylar Hand. Um, I'll link it on top here of the screen if you haven't had a chance to watch my haul videos. I'll link it the entire playlist because I have all of the hauls for most of the things that I've been using today. I have somewhere in one of those hauls so if you haven't had a chance to watch those videos and uh, you like hauls and you're interested to see where I grab those items from it's in those hauls so I'll link it above here on the screen but yeah all of these uh, items that I'm using in this layout they are all real vintage items uh, with the exception of these uh, two um, items that I'm using on the left this ticket right there this tag that I just got this one is not a vintage um, this one is Kyler uh, gave me um, she sent me besides the things that I got she also included in the packaging a um, bag of goodies which I so appreciated uh, it was very nice of her to add extra items to me and one of those tags was one of them I think if I'm not mistaken she got this one from uh, your creative studio uh, box, the subscription box. I'm almost positive, but don't call me on that. I might, I might, I might be wrong. But anyways, and the only other thing that is not vintage is this. Um, um, it's kind of like a stamped postage, this triangle piece right there. That is not. This is actually a stamp. Um, um, this one she grabbed from Cafe Analog. Um, but yeah, everything else is vintage. Um, as you can see from this theme here, I went with a lot of blue. So I decided to go because I wanted to use the Pan American uh, paper. I went to go with a more kind of like a travel theme. So that's why I decided to grab some maps. And uh, because the paper, um, the Pan American paper is actually uh, cream and blue, I decided to go with it and uh, uh, make the entire layout with blues and creams and uh, browns. And uh, that's a great way for you to, um, you know, decorate your pages. Sometimes you not necessarily need to come up with a theme. Sometimes if you just come up with a color scheme, um, and if you have a specific style that you prefer, like vintage or you like more girly, like a lot of paper dolls and things like that, or if you prefer more florals, florals, um, you know, as long as you come up with a color scheme, um, you can make a whole layout just off of the color scheme. And that's what I did. I grabbed some of my postage stamps. They were all in the same color scheme, like blue and brown. And all of the tickets, as you can see, they're blue and brown and uh, paper blue. And then that's why I decided to cover that page uh, on the bottom of the, uh, the Pan American paper with some um, map. That was also, it had a lot of blues. But anyways, the map I got actually from an antique shop here. It's a local antique shop. It's just from Atlas uh, with some old vintage map. And anyways, I'm finishing up with another uh, Keras pen. Uh, this one is one of my fountain pens from them. I'm uh, just adding the uh, day. And I didn't add it the date because as you can see, uh, it has a stamp there on that uh, craft paper, the 720. So it had already, already technically the date there. And uh, one of the tickets had the number 7, so 7, 720. We had already the date there, so I thought it was kind of clever. I don't know if you guys noticed that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's why I just included the date. And, you know, I just wrote it Tuesday and that's it. But anyways, um, this is our last layout. Uh, for this day, again, nothing special happened. Story of my life. <laughs> my Lately, my days have been boring. Um, gosh. Thanks coronavirus for that. <laughs> Anyways, not complaining here, but you know, it could be worse, but but yeah, uh, because of that, I didn't have nothing happening really. So of course I decided to go with some vintage. I, I was uh, looking through a lot of Instagram on this day and going through vintage antique um, furniture 
I don't know. I'm just like that. I'm just a sucker for vintage. I don't know what it is. Um, so yeah, that was the highlight of my day. <laughs> oh gosh, what what COVID did to us? Anyway, so I just decided to go with it. So I headed this um, page from a also catalog. Uh, this one is not from my CS catalog. If you are wondering, I did not rip the pages yet. <laughs> Um, if you are new here to the channel, you might not know what I'm talking about, but I actually bought a CS catalog um, that is a reproduction from 1923, but the, you know, the reproduction was printed in 1973. This is still a very old catalog. It's a beautiful catalog. Um, the advertisement on that is just amazing and it's very similar to that one. That I'm using today but this one is Skyler was um, nice enough to actually include it on the package in one of the uh, vintage packages that I bought it from her shop and I was so happy because I could use one of them and they had it like a dresser so I thought it was very fitting for the highlight of my day that was looking through Instagram vintage furniture because I have nothing else interesting to do with my day <laughs> or with my life Anyways, um, so yeah, I decided to go with a vintage theme. Surprise, no, because I was looking through vintage furniture. And uh, I just first cut this dresser and I'm just using, I decided to go with a very brown theme. So you're going to notice that I'm using a lot of different tones of brown paper. But I also decided to add some roses and you're going to see at the end. So I wanted to do a brown pinkish, like more like a rose pink layout. So I went with a lot of vintage papers. They're very brown. So for instance, this one with the music notes, I got it from a tick shop here in my town. Um, and um, yeah, the rest of the papers um, that I'm using in this layout, I think most of them well, no, I'm lying, not most of them, but a lot of them were from uh, Skylar shop. So, but this one, the music notes, I got it from a tick shop here. Um, the dress is from Skylar, um, Skylar Hand Studio. The brown paper kind of square that I cut it uh, half is also from Skylar Hand Studio. And this a book page here, it's not. I actually got it from a tick shop here, a local antique shop. It's just an American verse book that I got it. Absolutely love that book. So, um, yeah, I just use it a little bit uh, to edit some layers to the page. Um, you're going to notice there I'm adding another advertisement page. That is actually still from the same page that I cut, fussy cut the dresser. Um, and yeah, I'm just laying a bunch of vintage papers really it's not nothing special like i didn't i didn't have you know a very specific i don't know team in mind anyways so you're gonna see me using a lot of my um of my mono um eraser there i don't know what it was i think um at some point in, in a previous page, I used some ink and uh, some of this, um, the remaining of the ink ended up bleeding through this, um, through this page on my insert. So the mono uh, eraser, this is actually from Tombow, if you are not familiar with this eraser. It's a lifesaver because it's actually a ink eraser. So it's not a pencil, it's an ink eraser. So. If you make a mistake with ink, most likely that eraser is gonna remove it. So I was actually erasing there because you you know it bled it through my um, through this page, and I was actually making a um, a lot of mess. You might have not noticed through the video because it's not that noticeable, but I'm picky. I am <sighs> I'm a perfectionist, so that was bothering me a lot. But anyways, I'm using some of the distress ink again from Team Holtz. This time I'm using the yellow and brown to give me more of this vintage look and I distress the entire edges of the page plus I distress the edges of some of the papers to even add it, the extra kick of vintage because I mean 
it's never vintage enough, right? But yeah, uh, I'm just gonna finalize with some roses. That's where I'm gonna add the touch of pink to this uh, layout. Um, I grabbed this washi tape. I grabbed, no, I got this washi tape from one of my pen pals. So apologies in advance. I have no idea where she got that one from. Uh, I'm gonna have to ask her to please like list me everything that you sent me so I can buy it later because everything that she sends me so it's so amazing but yeah I'm just laying some of those flowers into this layout I thought th those are uh, roses that came in this washi tape it was just so beautiful and so vintagey kind of looking so I just decided to use that to the layout and um this is a very lazy layout that's pretty much it that i'm going to be doing with this i'm just fussy cutting those roses out of this washi tape and uh, yeah i'm gonna place this one right there you're gonna see me later removing because i didn't like the placement i'm removing and putting in another place but i'm just gonna edit another one i think on the top right there i just felt that I needed something a kick or something special but yeah uh, that's pretty much it. I'm almost uh, coming to an end here with this layout. There's not really a lot left. Um, I just want to take uh, the opportunity here before I bring in closer for you guys to see all the details and me finalizing the page here. I just wanted to take this opportunity. I know I say this a lot. I repeat this a lot in every single one of my videos. You guys are probably sick of me saying that. But I just wanted to say thank you for each one of you. We hit this weekend at 300 subscribers. I mean, it was not long ago we hit 200, now we're already at 300. It's just so mind-blowing to me that there's 300 people that wants to watch my videos, so thank you. Um, thank you for watching, thank you for commenting, for liking my videos. I truly appreciate each one of you, I just hope you know that. But yeah, that's it for today, guys. I'll bring it close so, it close so you guys can take a look at all of the details of the pages that we worked with today. But that's it for today. I really appreciate you hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and uh, yeah, any questions, suggestions, as always, you know, my heart is always open for suggestions. Um, leave it down below. I always love to hear from you guys. It makes me so happy to read every single one of your comments. You have no idea. Uh, it really means a lot, the support that you guys give me. So thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you for every single like, every single comment. And for, of course, following me. It means so much. So thank you. Um, that's it for today. Um, thank you again if you stick to this video this far. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next video. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy um, the rest of your day. Bye for now.